feel a bit different this year, but that's no reason to give up on some of the traditions that make it special. Getting the whole family immersed in decorating the home is one of them. But it's not just the tree we should be thinking about. Here were some quirky crafting ideas to add stylish and personal touches to your festive adornments is a man who knows his way around a toolbox. Welcome TV carpenter Wayne Perry. And it is families that can get involved in DIY as well, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. And I think anything that I do, I like to encourage everybody to pick up the tools and have a go. And for me, Christmas is about sparkly lights, you know, tree lights, copper, bit of bling, candles. So I thought I'd bring a few things here to show yeah, you. Yeah, I'm looking at that, I'm thinking straight away of my dad, who was a plumber. Because I mean, there's copper pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Half and three quarter inch it used to be, it's now metric, I know. Oh, I know, don't get involved, don't get involved. <laughs> don't get but the beauty about the copper piping is, it's a bit like a Meccano set, it all just clicks together. And obviously there's no water going through it, there's no gas going through it, so you can just super glue it, just click it. Really? Super yeah. glue in copper? I mean, but you know, no. anyway. Anyway. Right. But yes, yeah, so I wanted to teach you how to make, we're going to go for a, a simple um, candlestick. But yeah. if you get adventurous, you can make this one. This I love this one because the idea is that it's on your, your, your imagine it on your table. At right Christmas. down the middle. And the middle you wrapped do... in flowers. And the great thing is when you can still see through it. I don't you hate it when you go to this is a <laughs> beautiful table, the wonderful flower arrangement in the middle, and you can't see anybody for these flowers, but you can see through them. Absolutely. And if you're feeling a bit more adventurous, I say adventurous, you just you're just choosing a few little elbow brackets and things and super gluing it. Yeah. But I thought if I teach you the basics. Yeah. Then you can work your way up, as always. <laughs> work your way up through the brackets. <laughs> through the brackets, then super glue work all the way, way up through the elbows. Absolutely. Yeah. So all you need to do is start with a piece of wood. So I've just got a nice piece of timber here, but you could get a nice piece of oak. You get something from the garden. Although it's secure and steady, so you know you've got a piece of timber. And at the bottom of all of these, I've got one I prepared earlier. There's a little bit of a. Um, it's a stopper. It's what normally goes on the end oh, of the Oh, right, it goes on the end of a pipe and pack it off. Exactly that. Yeah. So all we need to do is make sure that's in there. And there's two sizes, as we've said before. So you, we're going to go with the smaller one. So we've got a paddle bit. Paddle bit. I never knew what they were called. I've got one or two, but I didn't know they were called paddle bits. And it's a timber paddle bit. So we, we use this one for this. Yeah. And it says 16 on it. It's the same size as that, which is 16, isn't <laughs> it? Does it it's point? really DIY by numbers. It is! It's for exactly. Like so again, um, righty-tighty, put the right-hand side in, makes it go forward. Yeah. We want to put it high at the top, keep the pressure. There we are. He's a man who always charges his batteries up before he comes, unlike me. <laughs> I'm just going to get the... Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I have got two behind, just in case. Like um, but prop that in there, so it just means we've got a secure sand base, yes. base to go in. Yeah. Then we're going to put the copper in here. So if we just want this to, it'll just pop in there, it's a little bit too long. So we're going to cut it down by using a pipe cutter. These are about six quid. What's brilliant about these, it's adjustable, so we can use both thicknesses, any, size, any size you like. Also get this if you've got your curtain tracks, you know, your poles, or you want to add an extra um, rail in your wardrobe or something yeah. like that. So it could be used a few times for this. So we put that on there. Tighten it up a little bit, get it into the position. Hang on, where are we? There we are. We tighten it just so it's a little bit tight and then turn. Yeah. Turn and it scores it, turn it again. Right, so it's, getting, again. Tighter so it's getting tighter and tighter. Yeah. So you could use a hacksaw, but this is just the simplest. Look at that, there. and there's no bits. There's no bits, it's not sharp, it's, it's not jagged. Fingers, yeah. Stick that on there, that goes in there. Reducer, so that would go from a larger size to a so smaller size. So you buy size. these reducers then, so that's going from a smaller size smaller to the, that size to the larger, to the larger size. size. That slips on like so, and then we put a candle in. Is that it? And that's it. And literally, if the candle's too big, my missus is going to watch this show. She's going to be screaming because she's been asking where this is. For the last eight months, it's been in my toolbox. <laughs> like potato peeler. It's my potato peeler. So we haven't <laughs> had one for eight months, so my missus is not happy with me. So we stick that in there. If it goes tarnished, like that is, yeah. over time your copper will fade a little bit. Bit of wire wool. And this is the bit for the kids. So get the kids doing this bit. You're like one of those men I see at county shows, you know, where they've got frying pans that never stick. <laughs> you should do that. They're much better off doing this. Look at that. Yeah? Shiny again. Shiny again. So if you start with that, you can expand and get bigger and bigger. Yeah, and work that's wonderful. So that, that's my copper bling. Now... I'm going to go and talk about plug and play lights. Plug and play lights? Yes. This is new on me. Go on. Well, I love lights, I love fairy lights, but people are scared of electrics, and rightly so, as yeah. a DIY, you shouldn't touch electrics. But the idea of all of these, you literally buy them as a kit, plug them in, boom, 
That's it. Done. It's done. So this lights and these lights are made using the festoon lights. You know the lights that you know yeah. you drape outside or whatever. All I've done, particularly this one, this is my little boy Harper. Your dog. My dog. <laughs> so a good friend of mine, Carol, who's got a shot called Max, made me do it. She said, can I make him into a Christmas card? So she made him into a Christmas card. And then, and she sells those. And then I went, that'd be perfect as a box light. You know, with the antler. Yeah. So all I did, I'll turn this one around. Drilled a few little holes. I made sure the holes were actually the same size as the copper. There was yeah. 16 paddle bit. Drilled through that, put that through. And then I just put the bulb on the end. On the other side. On the other side. So the, the fitting goes in this side, the bulb is in the other side, and the one holds the other together. Clamps it. Yeah. Now be careful when you buy festoon lights, sometimes, like this one, doesn't come apart. Right. So you can't use that one because yeah. obviously you can't get it through. So you've got so to check that the bulbs are replaceable. Exactly. And they do come out. And they do come out. So I'm just going to turn that one back around so we can see little boy Harper. <laughs> but that's what... So... Well, top tip as well, like this one, these are um, LED, so they're not hot. So if you know you're going to be around kids and kids can touch them, these can touch these, these bulbs, it's brilliant. It means they're not going to get you know, hurt in any way. And also it's, it's safer, just not hot. This one, I'm going to show you. Now these are all the rage at the moment, aren't they? These, this kind of bulb, which is called what? A filament bulb. Right. People like to see the workings of. I, I, I got this from a friend of mine, Zoe, from Muck and Brass, who actually recycles old mannequins and turns them into lights and stuff. So <laughs> she's, she's fashioned all of this and lent me this for here. But what I want to show you, why I want to show you this, is this whole filament section. Is if There's some stores online. You go and you can say, do you know what? I want some pink flex. I want it two metres long. I want brass fitting. You can have copper. You can have black. You can go the whole baker light -like look. I just want a plug. And they literally make it up for you, pack test it so it's safe, send it to you. So you've designed it, but you aren't have to do any of the electrics. Come, wrap it round here. You could, you could wrap it round an old trowel that's hanging but on the wall. But this is lovely because it's harmless, isn't it? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Sorry. Well, it's nearly Christmas. Nah. You know. That's the one you get in a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, right, OK. But that's so you that's see, my mother would have said it'll be lovely when it's got a shade on it. And it's <laughs> yeah, but... But again, I love that personalisation. So, yeah. for like I said, the, the people are loving the idea of matching it with their interiors. So this is, you know, you've gone for this. And the final one I want to show you is this one for the kids. So this is my little boy Harper again. Yeah, he's on his card. He's on his, and it's on a card. And all, all I've done is just put it on some little LED lights. <laughs> so you just literally pierce the back of the card, thread it through... This is perfect. So, so if you want turn to turn it round and we can see... What well, the back is, oh, you've is covered it up. It's yeah, covered, you've over covered it up. It's part right. of the card. But, yeah. Yeah. but again, you can buy these frames. These frames I've made, but these you can buy mm. a for any size frame and just bespoke it and make it like... So we've just added a bit of bling to something that normally would just be a print. I now feel very confident at making my own candelabra. It's lovely. Brilliant idea, Wayne. Well done, you. Thank you. Wonderfully festive. Well, from stunning sunsets, candelabras to dreamy vistas of a city skyline, to the new seasons.